Him not killing Freak Show is really our saving grace here. This is going to be a bombardment. Hopefully it's not very good. Well, it's not good. It's only going to be like five, but... We do take a hit on Roland, so he's in boiling oil range now, which is scary. Now, we want to kill that, for sure. Overall, is a nice way to do it. Put Moral here. He who knows too much, dies we too do soon. want this thing to live. Okay, so we have to choose between Roland and Moral here if he has a boiling oil. I'm good with that. Yep. He can't stop it. So we do actually win that one. GG. Today I want to take a look at Siri Nova Golden Necker Poison for Syndicate. Now, there's a few different abilities you can use with this. You can go Jackpot if you want to do like a Salamander type thing. You can go with Off the Books. You can go with Hidden Cash. And we're going to go with Line Pockets here. All of these are fine. Uh, I just feel like Line Pockets today because I've been playing Line Pockets in a little bit. And there's a fair bit of crimes in the deck, so you do get that coin value. Now, as far as what's in the deck, it's pretty standard for this type of stuff. You're going to run Golden Necker and Siri Nova. And the nice thing about those with the Poison Syndicate is that Poison gives you a lot of removal, and removal is something you lack a lot with Siri Nova decks. So it helps out there quite a bit. Now we can play the buff to Morale. He was buffed a little while back. We'll put him in here. We do have quite a bit of thinning cards. We've got Roach, Knickers, Redanian. Uh, it's worth mentioning, if you do go with the Hidden Cash, you can get the Flying Redanian out a little bit easier. That's pretty much the only horde you're playing, though, so that's like the main benefit there. Off the books gives you, gives you these coins, but you don't have that many tributes, so I don't really feel like going this one. And then Jackpot gives you the nine coins, but it gives you less provision cap. The point, the coin thing's really nice, but then you want to run Salamander or Roland. And then I just, I just figured we'd go with Line Pockets, because, you know, it's, it's like the basic one. It fits with pretty much everything. So, yeah, that's why we're doing that. And we're running Tiger's Eye. This could be any of the other ones. Um, probably Lamp. I like Tiger's Eye, though, for the coins. So we've got Bank, Necker, Serenova, Azar for the Defender. This is for Roland. We've got the Morale. Well, Roland and along with the um, Poison Suffering get going. We've got Thinning Cards. We've got Hideout, Freak Show, and Sculptor. Uh, I haven't seen much Freak Show. Uh, the decks I've run into on the ladder running weren't didn't seem to run Freak Show. I'm not sure why. But I want to so we can deal with stuff like the... Um, Tokens, hopefully, from Scoia'tael and Engines. So we're going to run it. I haven't seen a lot of people doing it, but I think you should. We got the Ferco the Sculptor. I don't know about this one. I like to be able to find the crimes with him. But honestly, there's several other cards you could play. But most of them don't seem like don't seem that great. So he just seems like the best option from the 8s. We got eight, 8 points left over. Well, it could be Knickers. You could take out Sculptor for Knickers, maybe. And they get more thing that way. But with Redanian and Roach, we should be good. Did I say Nickers was in the deck earlier? I meant we took him out for these guy, one of these guys. We got the Conjurer's Candle, Roland, and Tunnel Drill, and Gellert. Tunnel Drill back in the back scene play again. I think I made a deck with Tunnel Drill a little while back. I said it's still pretty good. Uh, hopefully we can boost the Conjurer's Candle. But it does get a ton of value still if they can't answer it. The best part about this card is that against the Waylay Squiatel deck, it does 3 damage if you've played a crime, which is enough to kill an Elven Deadeye. So we can do that here. Got the Gellert. I am running Xavier. So Xavier, this could be um, anything. I originally was running Maxi. Because Maxi's good for your, like setting your deck up and stuff. And knowing what you're going to get with Bank and Golden Necker. Which is really nice. But I was looking through the deck list. And we do not have a way to kill Keltulus. So Keltulus Cave Trail, once they veil them, we actually just cannot kill them. So we're going to have to run Xavier for Banish, I think. I'm not sure if we have another way of dealing with it. Like, you can take this out for Maxi, then bump a four. Or you can bump maybe the um, Sculptor to the Salamander if you want to run the Salamander. But I think we're going to try out Xavier. Maybe banish some Waylays too. Um, let's just see if we can get him some value. And those two stolen Mutagens, the Shady Vendors. The Mutagens are really nice for that poison and coins. And uh, we're going to have the two Salamanders most of the time. It's two Salamandras most of the time, so we get the second effect. 
Shady Vendor is nice in the running Fistic. Even Tide Plunder and Experiment. Even Tide Plunder is to make for more failed experiments. Failed Experiment did get nerfed, which it deserved. And now hopefully we can make some extras with this and see if this deck's any good. I think it'll be alright, but we're going to try it out. I do have a special affinity for Siri Nova decks, so we were going to get around to trying this out eventually. So we've got King Foltis with Knights here. This should be good because... Knights typically don't play purifies, and they go really tall, which should play into our strengths, which is good. Let's see how this works out. We do have the we just want failed experiments really round one. Um, this is good with the failed experiments though. This could make us one. This gives us a poison for an enemy unit. We have to be able to apply more poisons to ourselves. We've got Gellert for that. This hand looks like we should be able to take this round. And then we've got Gold Necker Serenova, so this looks really good. We don't want to draw into our. Um, Plumber Dane or anything. So yeah, this looks really good. Let's just start out pretty simply. Let's go with the failed experiment. Is this gonna go lock us? Can't say that's a surprise. We'll go with the hideout here. Get another failed experiment. Get our roach as well. This is the only lock he's going to be running, and he shouldn't have any control unless there's a Prince on Saze. And most knight decks I've run into do not play the Prince on Saze. He's going to remove our poison, but um, we could Gellert. The thing is, we don't have to Gellert. Like it's really, he's going to be really good for round two or three, whichever round his scenario comes down in. So I'd like to hold on to that. But we can always just stolen mutagens, which is fine as well. We'll do that. Where's the blue poison and allied? Gain five coins. And then we'll do damage by four, because why not? So we'll do this. There are coins. And we'll give you the four damage here. And that's enough, because now he can't stop us. Poisons are too good versus knights. So we have Fruits of Yazgith here. Hopefully this game's more uh, interesting. That'll probably be the least climactic game I've ever had as the first game in a video. But you know, I'm feeling it. Because it amuses me sometimes when these things happen. Alright, even tied plunder. Stolen mutagens. This is okay of a hand here. We don't have Siri Nova or Golden Necker. So we'd like to, well, if we have Golden Necker, we don't have Siri Nova. Um, we can get either of these from the Golden Necker. So I think we will put back the hideout and definitely that uh let's see if we can not draw roach here we had successfully not drawn roach against fruits of yuzgith again the poisons will be really good in this matchup occasionally they play a um predatory dive but i haven't seen one in a while We can combo this with Morale to kill something right away. Like if he places Griffin, it's a good target. There's the Griffin. Like I said, good target. It's probably safest to play the Morale. We also have a good card later on, so we could go Shady Vendor and try and find Fistic if we use our Tiger's Eye. But it's probably just best if we go for the Morale here. It'll also thin that out. We do want to get our Flying Redanian out, so we want to get the 9 coins here. We need one more Salamander for the second effect on the Mutagens. We can play our candle here for some coins. We can go like candle, vendor, maybe. We actually don't have a second cell manager in our hand, except for Roland, which is annoying. So I think we want to even tie plunder. 
get another experiment here. This will give us a coin so we can actually pay for this. And we've got the kill set up here on a unit. And we'll have the two salamanders, so we'll go with the stolen butagents next turn. So it gives us an extra coin because of the um, line pockets ability. So we'll get to nine and our flying Danian will come out. It's a good start. So we will poison here. I guess we kill Roach. If we poison, we lose three coins though. Let's just play the stolen mutagens. It's not like he's gonna stop us here. So we want the blue, and we want. Do we want to boost ourselves here? Might as well boost the morale. So this is the poison effect first. And that's this. We'll leave the veil. We should get an extra coin now. We'll get our flying Redanian out. We got a whole bunch of poison set up here, so he should have. We should be set for this round. He should pass. Or he'll like try and play a couple more cards, but we'll be we're set here. He's gonna kill off one of them. He's got the third crone going. It's fine. We will just go with our morale here. Transfer this poison. Go vendor. We're gonna look for another stolen mutagens. We do. Uh, we don't have the second one right now, though. Down to the one salamandra, which is annoying. So we only got one effect. If we do pick it, but I think we, I think we still pick it and go for the blue one again. Can I always play Fistic from our deck with this, or even Tide Plunder. That's what we were expecting him to have. Questions, what do we want to go with? We could uh, Golden Necker here. But then we'll probably lose out on some coins. I think we're going to Sculptor for Eventide Plunder. Give this thing the poison. So we're probably going to generate coins off Golden Necker, and I don't want to waste them. Just gonna go for a purify. Do we golden necker? Our other choices here are not ideal. This wastes three coins. Sar's not terrible. Let's go with the golden necker here. Okay, so we're gonna go with this guy. Fistic's gonna waste a bunch of coins, but nothing we can do about that. Kind of expected as much. Then we'll play the hideout here. Make another abomination. Or experiment, rather. And he definitely has to pass now. He's not going to, so that's interesting. I mean, I guess he doesn't have to pass, but we're going to win the round. Uh, we'll get rid of this thing. And we'll get some carryover on this Conjurer's Candle. And this has resilience, so we'll just hold off here. We could transfer to kill this thing, but I don't really want to. He's still going. <laughs> 
That makes sense. But we can just pay these three coins to kill off this. And I'd rather keep Roland than Azar, I think, because I don't think this guy has any control, really. So we'll do this and withhold the tribute. We're up by 18. Uh, he potentially could do that. But in one card, mm, he could have a She-Who-Knows, which is scary. The scary thing is if he ends this round with she who knows. Which is probably what's going to happen. Okay, so here's the thing. We can't actually poison anything here. And I don't want to lose Roland, so we will, I think, just pass. He'll win the round. He will win the round. He honestly might also be playing a Siri Nova Golden Necker deck looking at this so far, though. He might also be playing that. We'll see. Oh, there's the Triss. That is the big finisher, so that we're good that's gone. He actually could win this round. <laughs> I thought we were going to win, but I guess not. But that's his finisher. Mamuna's still an option. Uh, maybe she who knows. Although, we'll see on that one. I'm not super sure. This is a pretty good hand. Most likely he passes because we got these two cards with resilience and then they waste value. Turns out he isn't. Is this just going to be straight Mamuna? My guess. Fisher King going to look for the Mamuna. Alright, we'll play Tunnel Drill. Then we will boost the Tunnel Drill. Get ahead on even here. He might Heat Wave it, in which case it's pretty sad, but we'll see. If We just want Tunnel Drill out so we can like pressure this round for the card advantage, hopefully. He's deciding this is probably Mamuna. Nope, this is going to be Incubus. No worries. Which apprentice coming out from him? Once he gets around to it. Or that. Okay, so he can't Mamuna then. Running probably means he's not running it. Alright, we can see six cards into our deck. So we want to get to Siri Nova. We also want a crime for this thing. It's kind of awkward, isn't it? would be the best crime we could get? Fistic, we stolen mutagens. No, stolen mutagens isn't good, so we want Fistic for a poison. But then we can't do the second poison except from this. Let's just play this. And he'll get his win on even here. Well, not win on even, he'll like pass right now. We won't get ahead on even is what I'm saying. That's just some re weird reason he tries to play a card. Okay, yeah. Alright, so now we know that he's going to pass here. We'll just play Siri Nova. And we want to make sure we get her, so I'm going to use two of our charges here. There she is. Okay, so Mamuna... This doesn't get doomed, so we can Mamuna this round, which is scary. Well, oh, he can't Mamuna because it's not in his deck. Um, we could play Xavier for Banishing. But he's got so many nines. Actually, we can Mamuna the Griffin. Or we can Banish the Griffin for his Mamuna. That's probably worth it. That is probably worth it. This is probably the best hand we've got. So we'll just open Xavier. 
and hit that griffin. Because he can't do it like on sand, so I think he was playing on doing on griffin. He could do it like incubus or something, still not that bad. But it slows down the Sabbath setup and everything if we do it this way. Roland's just a 6, and Zavi is just a 6, though. So unless he's got some low-value cards, we're going to be in a little trouble. But hopefully if we can slow down the Sabbath, we can stop make keep his cards low-value. Yeah, so it's not going to be on Griffin anymore, which is good. Probably like Incubus or something. Maybe a Witch Apprentice, but then that won't get his value yet. We do have our Freak Show. Okay, we can kill that. That is definitely something we're going to kill. We can't kill it yet because we need the coins. He's got... So I want this for the... Um, I guess we can do the four on this. So yeah, we'll kill that thing. And then we'll banish here just because. It'll take two turns to banish the Gansian, so it's not really worth trying for those, I don't think. If he has another Incubus. There's a Renfree. Okay. Sure. Renfree Relics. Alright, he's going to win then because he's got Renfree here. And I gave him the benefit of the doubt thinking he's Gold Necker player. Necker player. So we're going to lose our Siri to this. Let's see what is passive. He's going to win because we can't compete with this Renfree value. Even if these are both Renfree's gangs, we lose. In these woods for good. So we lose. GG to surprise Renfree. Why is it that every time we play the game, we find Renfree? Whenever I start recording, Renfree just appears. It's kind of ridiculous. So we have to click these first. And there's the Renfrey gang. Yeah, we lose to Renfrey once again. So we found Knights again. Um, this is our best matchup, probably. As long as it's not Renfrey Knights, because you never know nowadays, apparently, still. Uh, let's see, we got Serenova, which is good. Don't want that. Got two abominations. We don't want to waste all of our poisons round one. But we do want to use a lot of them. Like these guys, we want a couple for later rounds. Fistic is actually pretty good here. This is not a matchup where we need Zavier unless he has Amphibious Assault Onermancy or he's running the Erendite version. So we actually, actually, I think we do want Xavier, Xavier then. Um, let's see the rest of this. This is all fine. We got our two big cards. We don't want to draw into Roach, so we'll go with this. This will be annoying though, this Crystal Skull. We'll see what he puts it on. And that's what I was afraid he would put it on. Yeah, that's kind of scary. We'll play out uh, Abomination here. We won't poison yet, because if he doesn't preemptively veil, we could double poison, but he's going to preemptively veil. It just there's like a tiny chance he doesn't, we can kill this thing. We could do it with a fist stick, because that gives us enough coins to pay the fee. We can also kill the sorceress, though. So, like, we can interrupt the combo somewhere. Okay, so we're going to actually get to kill something here. So we better kill sorceress or kill the immortals. He might have a second sorceress. So I think we'll kill the immortals. It's kind of hard to say, right? Because he could have a second sorceress, or he could have more shields. Like the knight errant puts shields out. More the 
card we'd like to get here that we don't have in our hand is uh, stolen mutagens, really. We don't have it, which is annoying. Let's play another failed experiment. We can go even tide plunder next. There's a knight errant. He's Ready gonna get crystal skulled for sure. I shall be with you shortly. Do we keep pressuring this round or not? I think we want to play even tide plunder. We don't have enough coins to trigger both of these, so I'm going to wait until we can conjure his candle, because it also has resilience. That does good carryover, but I think we'll just remove our... or remove the sorceress here. And this turn we'll play Siri Nova. Or Golden Necker. If he plays the Resilience card, we can Golden Necker. Because it'll give us Hideout and can transfer Poison like that. Get a special card. Special card will probably give us Poison. So there's the Resilience guy we're talking about. So I think we want a Golden Necker. The only danger is we could get our uh, Flying Redanian with it. But I think it's a good time to do it. Alright, so here we go here. Looking for Fistic, really. Didn't get it. Profit. Even Tide Plunder. Do we get anything with coins? That gives us one. It's our last card. Whatever. Uh, we want coins. I think we'll do the line of credit, actually, in this case. And we'll get rid of, I guess, the candle. It's weird getting rid of candle. Okay, mutagens. We want blue and green. Blue, green. Hideout. One of these. This gets rid of this. We were too slow, so we couldn't kick our, click our stuff, which is unfortunate. But that's also not really bad, because we get to play our own Siri Nova and kill his Resilience card. So it's really not that bad. He might think we timed out, but it's actually pretty good for us if we can play this now. It'd be even better if he kept playing. Which he might, because he doesn't want to play around like for Skeller and stuff. Owner Mancy, what's he gonna pick? There's the Arendite. Alright, that's good for him. But we've got our Xavier to come down now and banish that. And if we play another turn, we can banish the Aaron the um Owner Mancy as well, so we can don't have to win on even here. We can get rid of that too. We do need another poison though, because he did get rid of our one fee with the Arendite. Which is what happened because we we're too slow with transferring those, sadly. He will pass here. So what we will do is we will go into the banish on the owner Mancy so he doesn't get that back. We're gonna play Siri Nova. It gets us to 47. He gets plus one, two, three. Hmm. We could play Serena over round two instead and then do the Vivaldi Bank here because we destroyed our uh, one thing. So we'll transfer the poison here. Go with our Vivaldi Bank. Mystic is the top card of our deck. So we'll play that. Because it doesn't really matter what it is, as long as we get rid of this, we'll be fine. 
So we've banished Aaron Knight and Owner Mancy. That's a lot of his provisions gone. We want to pressure this round to get out the Damsel in Distress and then play Siri Nova, ideally. We do have a Poison Transfer still as well. And we don't have a lot of ways to do stuff with those poisons. Wow, we've got only gold cards left. It's kind of crazy, honestly. Now we can get a Crime here, which would be Stolen Mutagens or Eventide. And then this can make Eventide. We get our two poisons going, which means we'd want a Roland. Tunnelsure could be really good, though. Let's put this back. Let's go with this. Let's play Azar and withhold. Because for round three, we can go Morale with a poison. And that should be our best option. Like, Morale for round three. As we're looking for him here. But with Tunnel Drill, we can probably do something really good. Because we can poison ourselves with Sculptor in a way. But then we can't do the second poison. He has every consistency card in his tech. It's kind of funny. Well, let's see if this lives. If it lives, we can get some good value. We will heat wave it. We need him to play Damsel in Distress. If he doesn't play it, we lose the game. Because we can't beat that short round. So we don't have enough poisons left. That's Windholm. I think we have to kill that. So we'll go with Freak Show here. We'll kill that off. He's trying not to play Damsel. Like I said, if he doesn't play Damsel, we will lose. Siri can block the exposed from this on her shield. Probably won't even tide. <laughs> what do we want mutagen for six coins? We can spend the coins. Yeah, this is probably better. She has Veil. They'll stop the engine value. I think we'll go one more. I think he has to play his damsel in distress. Maiden shield. He doesn't have it in his hand. Ooh, that's really bad for us. That's really bad. I thought we were going to bleed it out, but he didn't even have it. Okay, then. Now stuff gets scary. Although we did play Maiden Shield, Morale can kill something, which is really good. Gellert can put stuff onto Siri because she's got Veil. Would Roland be good here? Yeah, probably. See the damsel in stress coming down. Hopefully he just doesn't have it. Does have it. Well, that's a problem. It is a problem. See if we can do anything here. He might have like Prince on Sace on the last thing here. It's not gonna do much. Oh, he's gonna Knight Errant the last card then, right? Because he played both. He's played both. Yeah, this this setup here should be enough to win. Even I guess we even with Dan's own distress, he assumes we've got poisons, and we do.
going up against Stockpile Siege, this is probably not a good matchup. Um, the damage removal can deal with our stuff. He's going first with Crystal Skull too, so that's really a problem. So we can't kill whatever that's going to be. That being said, we could try for an early tunnel drill. I like that idea, except he probably runs a boiling oil. So it'd be good to get something to protect it with. That will protect it. Questions what he's going to play first. So I think we'd have to play the, pay the tribute here. Which I don't really want to do, because we want those coins for the tunnel drill. If we're going first, this would be a very different story. But we'll try and make this work here. Because we have to win this. Well, if he plays Muta Generator, then we can probably go... Mm. Even if he plays Muta Generator, it's not great to play Tunnel Drill. Because Boiling Oil is probably in his deck. He does play the Muta Generator. That at least makes Azar not need the Tribute, I don't think. So that's good, at least. If Yara has, like, a Carol Bliss out, we have to pay the Tribute. Either way, it's probably not great here. Maybe we should play a tribute anyway, but we want those coins for tunnels. We have to be a little greedy. Like the problem, yeah, it's, this isn't great. So we need the tunnels to live. We don't have conjurer's candle, which is the best way to do it. There's a Carol Ballista. So boiling oil will kill our tunnel drill. We just kind of have to hope he can't kill it. We just kind of hope he doesn't have boiling oil in his hand. I mean, he probably does, but... What are you going to do? There it is. He kind of wins this round now. Since he's going to win, we'll just go blue and get our um, Flying Ordanian to come out. And then just pass. Maybe not. The thing is, we need to win this round to have a chance in this game, I think. Because Siege is going to be too strong. Siege Henselt's too strong if we let it go to round 3, but... I'm not sure how we would prevent that, considering how much removal he has. I like, guess is just going to keep going. Like, we don't have a good... We don't really have a good option here. Our best hope is he just passes. He might, he'll probably boost some more cards and go for a long round three. But we, I think our best chance is going to be that long round three with a Roland, with uh, with a Gellert set up because he's got immune, maybe transferring poisons like that. But we don't really have a good option either way. I don't, no matter what he does, it's probably good versus us right now. But like, if this didn't, if he didn't have Crystal Skull, we were in a much much better spot. Because we can actually remove that Caraballista and won't kill our stuff. And our, we can have the defenders lift. Right, he's just going to go for carryover. This is what I would expect him to do. The The nice thing, what makes the round three better is just he's not going to have Veil on anything. And they don't usually run a Purify. He's going to play one more five provision here to get all the boosts up. And the other good thing about this is we go first round three, which is nice because we can set up a poison and kill the first couple things, hopefully. He goes first, he can start hitting our guys right away. He's actually not going to play a card here, that's weird.
Would have liked to see Siri Nova or Golden Necker. Not gonna lie. Would have liked to get in one of those. He might like Envoy or something, then pass. Or he'll just pass. Okay, he'll King Radovid. If he pressures us this round, we'll probably lose. So we don't have Roland or Gellert. We don't have a way to get them either. We just don't have any of our cards, which is quite frustrating. Um, maybe we'll just do these things, I guess. Surely he's going to pass soon. Yes, he is. Alright, so we'll go with Hideout, our other Resilience card, then. Really would have liked to drop a Siri Nova that turn instead, but we didn't draw her. Now we need more of these abominant or failed experiments now. So we can actually answer things. Well now Siri Nova shows up. Um, she better than most of our cards though. Oh man, we really wish we had these things. <laughs> really wish we got those. Uh let's see here. Let's put back Fistic. That's pretty good. Maybe we can keep the freak show alive. That would be nice. We don't need Xavier though. Roland's nice too. Maybe we've got something working here. Really would have missed. We're really missing Gellert and Golden Necker though. Really missing those. Our first play needs to be some something that gives us coins so we can go in with the uh, the junior after. Nothing really gives us coins. Let's just play experiment then. This threatens to kill whatever his first unit is, at least. And we can go Ferco into the Fistic. And then we can kill a unit that way and get the coins for Freak Show. So we'll kill the first thing like that and then go in with the Freak Show. We just have to watch out for the finisher, which is going to be the Hansel Fultus Pride. Because that I'm not sure how we deal with, honestly. Oh, he's going slow here. That's fine with me. That is fine. We'll just play our Roland then. Spread these out so Boiling Oil can't purify them. Six, we're, at six, we're really safe unless he goes for his Hensult um, stuff. So if, unless he goes for that, we should be pretty safe when our guys are at six power and he's got no engines out yet. And then once he starts pinging them down is when we kind of want to start doing Conjure Scandal stuff to keep him alive. Okay, this is probably Siege or Hensult. There is Siege. He's going to boost this thing up, right? He does not boost it up. Which is fine with me. And we're going to get this guy out of boiling oil range. So we'll use one more charge here. Just keep everything under control. It's our plan. It's our only option. We have to stay pretty far ahead so when he does do his Hensel, we don't get blown up. He might do it now. Because otherwise we have this this setup. We should have spread these guys out more, put one in between the two scenarios. That wasn't very smart of us. That's not a that's a card I don't mind poisoning at all. So we'll do that. We'll go sculptor. In for a fistic. Again, we won't want to get boiling oiled. This thing with a poison. Because that's coins from Roland, and then we'll transfer this poison. And we still have six, so we'll kill this. 
Just keep everything under control. That's the name of this. Him not killing Freak Show is really our saving grace here. This is going to be Bombardment. Hopefully it's not very good. Well, it's not good. It's only going to be like five, but... We do take a hit on Roland, so he's in boiling oil range now, which is scary. And we want to kill that, for sure. Overall, is a nice way to do it. Put morale here. He who knows too much, dies we too do soon. want this thing to live. Okay, so we have to choose between Roland and Morale here if he has a boiling oil. I'm good with that. Yep. He can't stop it. So we do actually win that one. GG. He's getting nervous. Going against Nature's Gift. I thought about playing that recently, but I've played a lot of it in the past. That's not my favorite deck, but we'll see what we can do against it. Um, If it's going to be... Any of the... Oops, we don't want you. I just think if Zavia would be good here. It's probably We could probably Zavia Bountiful Harvest. Round 1 Zavia is probably good here. Because you need know, to get those natures. For the Forest Protector. This is good. Like, this card's good, but I don't really want two. Let's do this. We have the Tiger's Eye, which helps quite a bit. And we do want to... I think we'll just start with Field Experiments. He's going to have a lot of purifies, more so than any other deck really we're going to go against. So we want to make sure we can double poison stuff or else we're going to lose a lot of value. There's the Bountiful Harvest, see if he gets anything good. Like the luckiest thing he could possibly get is the Veil vale one. So we're going to Xavier that I think. Maybe we don't. Is that worth Xaviering? If he plays another one, maybe. We don't have a good poison target, though. Maybe we just even tied Plunder and see if we get another one. We don't. It's fine. This has... This gives us coins. Let's just pick this one. And then we'll get our Flying Redanian out so we don't have to worry about it later. I like not worrying about it. Especially when we have Golden Necker in our hand. Okay, he's going to try and kill that. He's going to try and kill it. We can transfer its poison. Do you want to transfer its poison? Well, I don't think we want to transfer his poison, honestly. Let's just play Xavier. Banish the Bountiful Harvest. If he wants to kill this, he needs one damage, which is probably not the most efficient thing. And he might have like a two or three damage, maybe. Like probably like a three, and he wastes a little bit of extra damage here. But if we... See, he wasted like four extra damage in that. But if we're not going to use the poisons, that's fine. We'll just banish all these nature cards, hopefully. Now we can play a second failed experiment now. We can also go with a shady vendor and look for an Evatide plunder. I think we'll do that. Oh, let's see. Do we have two salamandras? We do not. Profit 3 Bounty. Yeah, let's just do this. Don't purify the Bounty. Trust those prizes, nobody. We'll start banishing more of these specials, which is really what we're here for this round. 
I think we'll play this. And now that this thing's at a six, we can poison it nicely. Better than poisoning a three. Ooh. We have two salamandras, right? We do not. We could just play this for the four damage. It's not the end of the world if we do. I think we will. It's just a really good card to get rid of. Go for Vivaldi Bank. We've got some interesting choices here. So even tied plunder, I think. We'll take another one of these. And we'll poison this before we can get a Purify card onto it. Which is what he was going to look for off of the Sorceress. <laughs> this Xavier, by the way, is actually getting kind of ridiculous value. Uh, we have Conjurer's Candle, so we'll spend a coin here. Play the candle. You must banish her. I see no other path, sir. So here's the question. Are we going to pass? Now, these are very, very strong cards I'd like to keep. So I think we'll let him have this round. Because he's probably going to go with, like, Orb or something. Orb would be bad. Just Bountiful Harvest. He's probably happy he saw that. This comes back, but he's going to have enough points anyway, right? Sim loss. Okay, is this, Ag is this Gord? Okay, it is just Orb deck. That's good to know. So it's going to be Alzer, right? Owner Mancy Alzer combo. It's Alzer. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to go then. As far as whether or not it goes well, at least we have a good hand to work with. This is definitely a good hand. See if the owner Mancy Elzer comes out here. Oh yeah, there he is. Let's see how lucky this guy is. That's pretty good. That's alright. That's also really good. Huh. This means we have to Azar. I'm actually going to pay the tribute here. We need to Golden Necker. And, yeah, we need to Golden Necker this round. I think we'll roll in first. Okay, you can't kill them both, which is good. This might be too much for us to overcome, honestly. We need to hold this crime in case we get Tunnel Drill. He's going all in for this, it looks like. Alright, so we got Freak Show. Fistic's a nice poison to have. And this will make our experiment. Not sure why this is still on the board. Uh, hello? Okay. And we're going to kill this because I don't want to deal with it. We 
Potentially you can remove something and reset with that. Okay. So this is what we're working with here. We have a Sirinova, which is good. Two Salamandras. So potentially 10 coins here, which is a 1, 2, 3, 4 we can do on this. Should be 2, 3, 4, and 5. That should be good enough. We'll play our Siri Nova. We'll start spending coins off of this guy. And then we will have to do a charge on our uh, freak show. That'll be good enough there. We have the carryover then. He has played his Alzert. Harold Gord's really big, which is going to be a problem because he's going to last say it. So we need a lot of points built up before that. What are our options from our deck? Okay, look at these options. I think we want to go... We want the option of making a field experiment. Let's put this back. Just sculptor or fistic. Let's keep this, I think. And then we're gonna have to get maximum value from our value from our Gellert here if we want to win. We're gonna need all the value we can get from him. The fray accident. Let's see here. We need the profit on this. So we need to pay for this. Which will be our last say. And we'll morale next turn. For moraling next turn, I would like to put this boost on morale. Yeah. Put this boost on morale. I think he's, him living is a little more valuable. Although he might have a poison, which would be scary. Okay, so now we play morale. In my trade, I am a great artist. I think we'll just do this transfer. No use giving him the option of purifying it. See, he had the purify. Um, now we're going to use these leaders. And we're going to look for... Okay. Yep. GG. So that's the deck. What do I think? I think it's actually still quite good. The abominations, when they had the one cooldown, were ridiculous honestly but now it's still good like the deck still seems good banks nice to tutor you out your stuff the golden necker serenova cards are still really good and you have poisons poisons still seem quite good uh the if the meta is knights which it is somewhat there's a lot i think we played what, like two knight players in this one one of them was really short that was the first game but poisons are really good against knights because they don't run purifies so they go very very tall and you can poison stuff really well. So it's, it has some good matchups like that. I don't think we would do well against the Deadeye Ambush decks. We didn't play any today, which is fortunate. But I'm not sure how that works out. Uh, we'd have to have Tunnel Drill live, I think. So we could shoot them down. Or Freak Show. So that's really why they're here. But we didn't run into, into any. And you kind of saw we had some good games here. The only one with... Do we win every game except the Renfrey deck? I think so. Yeah, I think that's what happened. But yeah... I think that is, a, I think it's a good deck. Uh, the cards you can change. Morale, I really recommend, but you could change them out for something else. Uh, Roach and Ferdanian are nice, but like, if you don't like Morale, you could run Knickers, but you thin enough that it should be fine. 
And then the sculptor, I like his finding of stuff. The card I would say is this, this Xavier is really the card. Like I think most of this deck is pretty set. It's really good. I think the Xavier is the card you could swap around. Like I said, I tried Maxi. Uh, you can also run a, if you want to, you can run a, where is he? Uh, a Kurt or even Adalbertus. This is just against Veil stuff. Um, if you're running against Keltilis, there's not really another way to beat Keltilis other than having Adalbertus, I don't think. Because you have to purify. We went with the Xavier approach. But I'm not sure that actually worked out because you have to win round one then. And that can be difficult. So you could probably swap this for Adalbertus or Kurt if you want that purify in your deck. I, I think Adalbertus is better if you're going do it, doing it specifically because of Keltilis. Otherwise, Kurt's pretty good. You've got that bounty option. Another card I do want to mention here that I tried out before. Where is... It's totally here. This guy. I like this guy. I just don't think he's quite good enough right now. The bounty is really handy to get more coins with this deck. But since you're not playing like overwhelming amounts of engines, it's not... Like, super, super good, but it can be pretty valuable. I, it's not, I wouldn't recommend putting this card in. I just like it, and if you haven't tried it out, I recommend it. It's pretty fun when it works. It gives you another way to double poison something. Obviously, the fail experiments are better at that, but this is a fun way to do it, too. And you can combo it with the fail experiments to kill something in one turn. That's nice. But I think that's pretty much it. If you want to cut Xavier and a four... Maybe like one of the Eventide Plunders, one of the Fistics. You could go with like double Mutated Hounds or even more Poisons. It might be overkill, but there are options you can do here. But yeah, I think this deck's pretty good, actually. Actually, I quite like it. It's one of my favorite Syndicate decks. Um, yeah, it's, I just do enjoy this one. And we'll see you guys next time once we come back with another deck. I'm thinking, I'm trying to play one of each faction. I think we're pretty close. We did Nilfgaard, Skellige... Northern Realms. I think we did most of the factions again this season. I like playing all the factions at least once before revisiting them in a new season, but we'll see what it's going to be next time. For now, though, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I do like this deck. That'll be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more, and you can check out some more videos over here. And thanks for watching.